Hello everybody and welcome back. 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 Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go and save the day yet again. Because it's Sunday and the Lord is resting, so we jump in to save the human race. We're gonna start with Caden. It's a good start, I believe. Uh, just trying to find the way. Yes, the door. Ooh, I forgot what game I was playing. <laughs> uh, oh, it's on me yet again playing GTA. It's on me. These two little buttons. Just rest. Shit. I don't want him to rest. Shields disabled. There you are. <laughs> the teleport. So yes, yeah, I... These just... Tells me that I was right in choosing... Caden to go... On this mission. And keep, um... Ashley... Reinforcements! Us. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship uh. inbound to your location. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! <gasps> what the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! <sighs> I get it. It's done, Commander. I thought it was just Go going to say, ah, and get the hell darn out of it. Here. Play that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! <laughs> I'm definitely gonna lose one of them. I'm definitely gonna lose one of them. Both of them are in dire situations. I would say I'd want to go save Caden. Because he, he, he was the one the most 
precarious situation. But if Ashley says that she needs our help and Ashley is a badass, then it means that it's really difficult. I mean, Caden is a badass too, but if they are equally in in, in in the bad situation. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. And we're closer to Ashley. I mean, on a strategic situation too, Ashley is closer, so... It's because I really don't want to lose her, so... Send a message because the girlfriend's supposed to come back home. I just tell her that I'm calling. So she doesn't burst the door open. Like that. <laughs> Low, but a little bump. Yes. <laughs> I don't know where to go. No. We're starting the game. I need to see my progress. And I need to watch after my colleagues because they don't take cover. Enforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding death all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! 
Is this the choice that I picked earlier? Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here. Choice. But it's the same answer. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Dialogue. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. It's the I'm dying mission. Uh, I'm dying music. <laughs> I try and pick dialogue choices faster in dire situations just to get a bit more RP. Let me know if you want me to elaborate on my choices to explain them or, or not. I think it's fun. I think I want to explain them. Because I think it's interesting. I don't know. You tell me. your butt here, buddy. Come back here, you fool. Oh, they're gonna rest. I forget that I just, I can just quick change like this. <laughs> Guy is back up, but it's back down. Ashley. Okay. That's Saren. That's Saren. Saren getting like a Koopa. Koopa wizard. I applaud you, Shepard. Run. My guess were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen oh, the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people 
should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of beauty freedoms. The Pruthians tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Pruthians still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been it's promised it's to reprieve. From kind of them. easy to say, but this I did my find you there. Don't fight the other dialogue, it's convincing. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop it. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions that gather her at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove they're useful. We must work with the Reapers. I don't like any of the answers because I get Saren's point and his points are, you know, he's writing his points and everything. It's just a matter of choosing what you want to fight for. And his motives are as valid as Shepherds, aka mine. But I think that's the Sovereign's answer, manipulating yeah. you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. Oh. No, Sovereign so needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. <sighs> confronted Saren, now it's just... Oh, I didn't get that. I didn't get that there were other... Is this Ashley? Is there one? Oh, 
The Silver Surfer, Turian Surfer. Joker. All right, everybody, hang on. Shepard, what are you doing? Get down. Yeah, Saren delayed us. Well then, good call. I, I we need save Ashley. Peyton didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... <laughs> we'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, love. but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces you of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it doesn't take too much of a toll on her, though. Yeah, it's flash mixed with cybernetic circuits. The apocalypse. I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the uh. warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard that the name. Black Planet with the... I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mew Relay. But the Mew Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. How did you know of it? How do you know it's only accessible through the Mew Relay? How do you lose a mass relay? Its original coordinates would place it deep inside the Terminus systems. Unfortunately, a star in one of those nearby systems went Nova roughly 4,000 years ago. The shockwave sent the relay trillions of kilometers off course. Then the dust uh. and the radiation from the exploding star engulfed that entire region in a dense nebula cloud. Finding any object in space is difficult. Finding the Mu relay inside a nebula cloud is virtually impossible. It would take decades. Hmm. Okay, because a part of me was like, maybe it's if I get the lights from the little astronaut in the eye. Um, Finjadai. Nobody's ever been there. How did you recognize Ilos from my visions? 
I recognize some of the landmarks from the photos and vids I'd seen during my research. I know of Ilos. I just do not know where it is. Photos and vids from thousands of years ago. Are you saying it's hopeless? I am afraid so. Unless you somehow find the coordinates for the Mew Relay, then it would be possible to... Oh... I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. Yeah, they need now to it's know. time. Patching it through. Now that we've Commander had a confrontation with I'm Saren. pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving on the Especially him. since Vermeer was, uh... Especially since Vermeer was one of the missions the sent us to, we should report to them. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. You probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Ah, oh, looks like yeah. we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. Yeah, it's no use. Uh... <laughs> Gonna use that in the future. Oh, looks like we lost the signal. Um, okay, so regarding the last mass relay, I thought for a moment that maybe it had gone, of course, lost in the deep space because it's so huge. Even in the infinity of the universe, a structure as, a, as huge as mass relay could go unnoticed. I mean, whole planets are unnoticeable. I guess you didn't know there's supposedly a ninth planet in the solar system that we not that has not yet been discovered, but gravitational um, observations tells us that where the planet may be. So in the ca in the case here, maybe that's something that you could we could do, uh, since um, Doctor. Doctor, what's her name? I don't remember her name. It's telling us that it's in a nebula cloud. Maybe if we have data of the nebula cloud, we could perhaps find a mass relay that way because since it's a superstructure, its own gravity is going to attract parts of the nebula cloud. So we could find it that way. Or perhaps it's even become. If it's been thousands of years, maybe by the time the nebula cloud has cooled down just a little bit, and maybe it's aggregated, you know, towards the um, the mass relay, depending on the size of the cloud and of the mass relay. I'm definitely reaching here. But I have a faint memory, though, of my friend that I told you about in the first part telling me about um, some lost relay, I think, or just about the relays and how they were found, about the fact that they were here, but they were encapsulated in uh, rocks that had, just I said, aggregated around it and such. So I don't know if it's about that relay or not, or if he was just talking about relays in general. I'm telling you about this because I don't want to act as if I... as if it doesn't pop in my mind, as if I don't have this thought. 
So we haven't done Novaria. So there's the Exodus uh, assignment. But we probably should go to Novaria. Yes. Find the conduit. Good, yes. Let's go to Novaria today. One, two, three, four jumps. Frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable colony found. Population still quite a population out there. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council spectre aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. Advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun No bunch. problem. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> they do know how to make you feel welcome. Garris. We lost two members of the team. I'm taking Ashley or oh, Liara. Let's give Liara a chance. Equalizing interior pressure with she wasn't really good in atmosphere. combat, but maybe she would be good in Logged. The commanding officer is a combat sport. Exo Presley has the deck. There's two docking uh, bridges for long ships. Ah, uh, that's greetings. far enough. Step aside. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, ma'am. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure yeah, their weapons. But I don't need you to let me enter. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. That's it. You go in the corner and you think about what you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Mm -hmm. Benezia. She is here. Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that she was her daughter. I totally forgot. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. I hope she's really not playing us, but Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's I don't trust most anyone. respected site for independent but scientific research and development. Stupid not for your own to, safety and to protect um, the privacy of others. You are required and to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's no accident on Peak 15. I don't mm. understand these rumors about synthetic insights. If the office is closed, it must be for a good reason. I don't care what happened on Peak 15. We've all signed non-disclosure agreements. Interesting. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. They say there hasn't been an accident on Peak 15, but everyone knows. Mm. Something weird is going on at the Synthetic Insights office. The administrator shut him down. I can't believe the paranoids that work here. Peak 15 has a bio and cyber hazards lab. If there's a problem, they should nuke it before it spreads. I'd ask you out for coffee, but I have to work late tonight. And I might get fired for talking to you. And the coffee here sucks. You're the specter, right? Um, Thank you for not telling us, us not anything. You. you. No, not important. Nice pool. No. 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 How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Isn't she the one who welcomed the scene? It's weird. Just like she's an NPC, so she jumps places. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. 
This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. What do you mean, mm. personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I don't I care. I placed Laura Keane, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. <laughs> so basically, you're a don't ask, don't tell, just take the money type of guy. I have no more questions guy. at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. I'd just shoot you if you weren't important. Well. If just it wouldn't start some sort of war. Look at these weapons here. What the heck? I don't like the dude. Hope I can kill him later. <laughs> Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I'm not just Commander. I can. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik yeah. King. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. I don't want... She, she's doing great. Talk I don't to you want later. to cause her any trouble. Very well. So let's go to the bar. Elevate to the hotel, to the docking bay. Synthetic insights. Garage. Oh! Is the Mako in here? Perhaps we should go to the hotel. That's probably in this direction. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. If yes, Sergeant you Sterling will. catches me with you, she'll, I don't know, crush my trachea with her brain or something. Some of the guys <laughs> do side jobs for the administrator. I'll only do what Captain Matsuo says. You know what I could go for right now? A donut. I'm keeping an eye on that Krogan at the hotel. He's a mercenary. Name of Ina Morda. In case we have Lorkin or something in the I could get Krogan we need to watch to for. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. But this place is... I... Uh, the design of this place is interesting. 
wouldn't say I choose it for my personal home, but I like it. So good call on us that we took Liara since her mother is here. That's interesting. I guess that will open interesting dialogue options. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human okay, at quick, the hotel because I bar. Saw the guy we're looking for. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to known investigate quantity. his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know but anything about Binary me. Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential mm. risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. So since there is a link between Saren and Binary Helix, I remember good because there's a lot of company names here. If I remember good, perhaps the work that is being conducted here is to enhance Sari commandos under Ma um, Lady Benezia. I'd say that's illegal, but I'm a spectre, so it's not illegal if I am the one doing it. Let's say this. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? They what they might not. be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, if I can catch her later, I'll. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Spectre? Me? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, and I would be disinclined would to hide the to his request. As well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. 
Miss Matsuo was unaware of their outside employment. Hmm. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? I'll do my best. Uh, I just... I ju I'm just not exactly sure... I understand... So, on... Okay, so there's something going on at peak 15 that involves Mother Benezia. There's like a problem there. But there's also that thing going on with Lori Keane. And to go to peak 15, we need l to help Lori Keane to get access to peak 15. And yes, yes, sorry. Uh. Vera espionage. Oh, okay, I refused. Okay. Well, too bad. Yes, I guess it didn't really involve us. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Oh yes, that was uh, for the mission. Um, okay. back to the businesswoman that told us exactly what was being told around said around about Pig 15 and the company that Lori King is a manager of but a manager for because he manages the office only They say there hasn't been an accident on Peak 15, but everyone knows. Something weird is going on at the Synthetic Insights office. The administrator shut him down. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I was just reporting issues. And so we need to go to the uh, garage. Which is here. No, we need to recover the intel from synthetics office then we'll be able to go to the garage Spectorax. yeah that's me I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And a matriarch came through. What that. sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Scuttlebutt. Quiet like. 
so no off-world lawyers come in on it. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. I have to go. You need anything, okay. I'll be here. So basically it's just a uh, redundant uh, indicator in case you missed the business people. Okay. Freeze! Hatch on security. This office is sealed. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Stand aside, kid. Unlike most people you face, we're armed. You want to cause trouble? In the face! In the f Whoa, whoa, whoa. What to- what? Wait. It's quick. Annoying me. Oh, I could have shot that. Okay. Oh, it was easy. Thought we'd have to fight our way through more people. To the attention of Administrator Anale, yes, a man named Gareth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our freighters. He believes this brother's ship may have been attacked by prodigies while traveling through the Strenuous system. Investigation pending. Missing person report to detention of enemies. A man named Gareth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our factors. He believes his brother's ship may have been attacked. Okay. So there's someone who's looking for a ship that mysteriously disappeared that his brother was captain of. These were stairs. Yes, I can save. I'll just save in case. It's again when you need to save a lot. See if I can. Yes, uh, I would have liked to get to the doors. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, Miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect. I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. 
Like this girl. Okay. Oh, because there's other people down there, maybe. Oh, to an office. Okay. That was another elevator. There have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Hmm... It's probably oh, Analeas' no. thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Hmm. <laughs> He's got to game playing. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. Really? I need to investigate. Sergeant Sterling was That's killed. outrageous. When we get the one responsible, <gasps> we'll take turns guarding them. You better toe the line, make sure the administrator. Make, get me on that list. You might end up like Laura Keen. In a bar, chilling. There are people all over this plaza you can chat with. I'm on duty. Novaria's private property. Remember, you're here at the board's sufferance. <laughs> the Someone board's murdered sufferance. our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. Word gets around fast. F faster than me. Barely had time to let the gun cool down. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been mm. undercover for six months. Mm. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Hmm. For his own profit. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. 
Okay. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analyze needs dirty. It might Which be is best to help good for me. Look, Shepard, yep. I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. I'm not in it for the credits. It's All right, petty. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Even if I could use the credits to buy some more equipment, but since I don't know what to buy yet. What sort of offer did they make? Sasha's so gonna give me the pass, but she would have given me the pass. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Yeah. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, Straight. you want to dictate how I use it? I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. Yeah, it is obvious absolutely. that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Are things in hand? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. <laughs> I could guess why people are weird. I thought there was something on the back. It's just a light. You know why Benezia is here? You know something? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Mm-hmm. I think you suspect good. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. But I did it already. Because if I say I have your evidence, it's gonna... Probably shouldn't, I should let you I go. don't want to blow it. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Huh. I didn't want to risk to take the choice to say uh, because I still wanted to give him the proofs, but maybe no, I should give her the proofs so we are sure that he is going to testify. So perhaps that's the logic behind the dialogues here, so I don't want to risk it. I reckon she's back at the office. Nope. Oh yes, okay. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. 
Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You mm. shepherd! Like Spy. a man who placed this bitch under arrest! You have whoa, 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 the words. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. You got what you deserve. So let's go to the garage. So we're gonna go through the way. For the inside offices. I think it's quite calming. I, I'm the type of person who enjoys when it's raining a lot, or when there's thunder, when it's snowing a lot, and you're inside safe. I enjoy the the feeling. I enjoy the atmosphere of it. Am I the only one? Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Oh, you sound yes, nice. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Sound nice, you got. The first nice got. What? Oh. Oh no. I'd say these are what the matriarch had in the crates. Oh, too early. It's this beast right here. Secure the area. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to? Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the matriarch like packed them in the, the three corpses she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. Benezia Sama. There so, so there's an idea of current days, cultures. Uh, how many more? Uh, you know what to look for. I need yeah, numbers, I Captain. Idea. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. Yeah. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Is that our Mako? M35, we need to check out later if this, this is our Mako or a Mako. Should probably save, but oh, I can't save. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, here's trouble. I was about to say no trouble here. Or no trouble at all, but there's trouble there is. Get into the Mako and maybe see. Yep. Oh, whoa. I want to equip Liara. Could use some buyer to come. Oh wait, didn't finish equipping her. This could be useful. This could be useful. Accuracy rating could be a benefit against the hit's incapacity in this case. Okay. There's points to allocate. 12, yes. Uh, it 
assault rifle, the sniper rifles, these are the my two main weapons. Pistols not so much, first aid could be something. Uh, yeah. Stasis could be good. Lift could be good. Warp could be good. Singularity, vortex that draws objects towards it. Could be nice. Electronics. First aid, tactical armor. Sniper rifle, assault rifle, assault training. Not what I wanted to do, I wanted to go for the first aid, but that will do. My ear starts to push like violently. Suddenly. <laughs> oh, there was a something. Yeah, it's still there. Oh, that's where we came from. Looks like big fifteen. Look at this shot. The adventure. Let me think about that. I need to make angles. Let's start thinking about that. It's a real pain when I design a miniature, finding the right image is going to represent, it's good. it has to be an image that both represents the episode and that fits into the composition. You come get to you. Okay. Pitch issues duly noted. to depart in a hurry. And like this, because in case someone tries to attack us, we can, you know, get into the Mako 
from the side while being protected. Strategic. Let's take this sword. Wait, I still can't save. I didn't know what to do. <gasps> Liara is doing a fantastic alert. job. All Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user mm -hmm. interface offline. Liara has redeemed herself. We'll need to get the reactors back online. No. Why are the turrets the wrong way? They want to keep their people in. Okay. Good. That answered my question. Ah. Well, we've made our way into Pick 15, guys. I think it is a good way to stop this episode. Because uh, it's been an hour and a half. I don't want to make two hour long episodes every time. Just to complete a mission. Especially since rescuing rescuing Caden took us only 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to be seeing you next time for Pick 15. Um... Good news, as I'm filming this, I'm going to be starting to make, uh, I should be doing Twitch by the time this episode comes out, definitely. So, if you want to suggest some gaming, if you want to chat a bit, you know, you can just pop off on Twitch. Um, if not, then I'm going to be seeing you in the next part of Mass Effect. Um, could be seeing you soon, then please take care, have a nice life, bye.